Hi guys, I'm Winnie English for She Knows, and we are here in the Nail Files Mobile Spa Truck with Katie Cazorla on the last stop of your tour. So tell me, what is so interesting about the painted nail in your life that they wanted to make a reality show out of it? You know, it's so funny because I didn't think anyone would want to watch the show besides my mom and my friends, um, but I do own a really fun store called The Painted Nail, and we have some really great fun celebrities that come in. There's a ton of drama, obviously, because I have a lot of female employees under one roof and you know I kind of live my life um, not planning anything just going on a whim and I think that leads to some fun adventures and I think they thought it would be fun to watch. Let's talk about your celebrity clients. Who's on the roster? We have some really fun celebrities that come in. Anyone from Vanessa Hudgens to Vanessa Williams, Lisa Rinna, Candace Cameron. I was a big Full House fan, <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god. She was a highlight. <laughs> I know. I'm too short. If you're a rap fan of the 90s, he definitely is. What does he favorite. get? You he wouldn't gets... expect men as much. So. No, men do get Manny Pennies. It's important to not have scaggy cuticles nowadays. Listen, because, guys. Yeah, you don't want to have some like grody hand giving you a <laughs> massage. Do you have any celebrity friends that come in and get their nails done together? We do. It's so fun. Um, Hillary and Haley Duff have come in together, and um, Ashley Tisdale actually brought in Vanessa Hudgens. And when they, she called to make the appointment, I looked at the phone and I was like, oh my gosh, it really says Ashley Tisdale. I'm like, this is amazing. I'm like, I really hope she brings Vanessa Hudgens, and she did. So we get a lot of like fun. Sarah Chalk brought her mother in. Um, Melina Katakaridis. Oh, Lisa Rinna and Harry Hamlin came in together. So we get some fun Cute. people. <laughs> I bet you hear a lot of celebrity gossip, too, in the salon. Tell us any stories. You don't have to name any names. Well, um, celebrity gossip, oh my gosh. I mean, I don't really hear gossip. I just get to hear like the fun things that celebrities are doing, what they're working on. When Paula Abdul was working on um, her show um, about, you know, she had the show on for a while there about dancing. Right. And um, before that even came out, I knew she was working on it because she was talking about it in the store. And it's just kind of fun to get like the inside scoop on stuff but we don't go and tell anybody that's not something we like blast on our Twitter or Facebook it's more it's kind of like what happens in the painted nail stays in the painted nail so. have you had any celebrities that were super divas or had any unreasonable requests um, no, actually I haven't, and that's so funny. I've had just normal clientele be more diva-like than some of our celebrities, and I think that's kind of fun that, you know, people always think celebrities are going to be like, oh, I want this and I want that, but we don't have people like J-Lo come in, so <laughs> I'm sure if she came in, she'd have special requests, but no, for the most part, we have some really low-maintenance, cool, like, just neighborhoody fun celebs. What's the craziest thing we're going to see on this season? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. That's the thing. I haven't seen all of the episodes. We just started airing. Some of the girls from the Jersey Shore came in one day. That was quite eventful. And I will say this. The girls are exactly like what you see on TV. Was Snooki in there? Yes. <laughs> Snooki got uh, an ice cream sundae pedicure. Ooh, what does that consist of? You got an ice cream bath bomb in your water. You get um, a sugar scrub of your choice, neither chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. You get an ice cream sandwich callus removal treatment that you get to take home with you. You get a marshmallow caramel or chocolate mask on top, so it's really moisturizing. And then we top it off with a body icing massage in your choice of vanilla chocolate or strawberry and polish. I want to eat it. It's making it's me hungry. delicious. <laughs> we give you a free cocktail instead, so. Amazing. Fat free and <laughs> fabulous. Perfect. Your fiance Walter is on the show as well. How big of a role does he play? You know, I say that Walter is the most fabulous um, wife a woman could have. Um, not only does he help take care of my dogs. Is he okay he, with that? He's totally okay <laughs> with that. Oh my God, he loves it. Here's the thing, Walter is such a doll. He loves to cook and he likes to clean things and then tell me about it. I think because he's always been so fancy his whole life, he's always had, you know, people doing things for him. And when he met me, I was like, why are we paying someone to do these things? I'm like, I'm a down-home girl from upstate New York. I'm like, we are not going to have someone, you know, cooking our meals. I mean, granted, I would probably 
burn our kitchen down if I tried to cook anything more than top ramen and use a microwave. But Walter loves to cook. He's so cute and he just, he gets pride out of like cleaning the house and making it look great and I feel so good about it. He sounds like the perfect man. He is the perfect man. And he so, loves to give me foot massages too. Ooh, I know. bonus. <laughs> I know. Katie, I heard your show had the highest rated series premiere in the history of the TV Guide Network. How does that feel? I mean, I thought maybe just my mom was going to watch it and some of my friends. So to know that almost 1.2 million people tuned in to kind of see this was amazing and hopefully the momentum keeps up and more and more people watch. Well, I'll be looking forward to all of it and tuning in on Tuesdays. Thank you so much. Thank you.